Alright, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to our new series on Tuesday, Eat Lead, The Return of Mad Hazard. Let's kick this shit off. We're gonna play on Major Hazard, I ain't no bitch. Let's see, My name bitch. is Hazard. Yeah. Mad Hazard. Mad Hazard. At one time, Look like the rock. I was one of the most popular action game characters in the business. Of all time. I started off like a lot of guys. Side scrolling my way through the 80s. True story, bro. A bit sprite with more firepower than pixels. Mm. When the 90s came along, I signed on with Marathon Software to star in their original first person shooter. Mad Hazard 3D went straight <laughs> at the top of the charts. It was the first in a string of hits as long as my. Well, let's just say it was long. Really, really long. Marathon signed me to a lifetime gig. And I branched off into every action ninja magical. Spy thrillers, survival horror games, <laughs> fantasy adventures, and even a fun series of buddy cop games with a rookie sidekick named Dexter Dare. I guess all that success went to my head. Yeah, I probably. Asked Marathon if I could take the Mad Hazard brand in new directions, and they let me run with it. And... Let's just say that was a mistake. That debacle sent the company into a tailspin. The place went downhill faster than you can say non-violent water gun based third person shooter. Don't ask. <laughs> I thought that was the end. Until a new CEO came along and bought the place. Now the company's called Marathon Megasoft. And the new guy insisted that I be the star in their first next gen shooter. So here I am, back in the game. This time around, I'm a no-nonsense detective who plays by his own rules. Ready to embark on a new adventure that will take me to all kinds of exotic locales. Starting with... A Japanese steakhouse? Yeah, baby. Nah, what the hell. You gotta start somewhere. We finally got a break in the soon case. Oh, right. Somebody was running We're in the first level. Market out of the swankiest Japanese restaurant in Chinatown. And an informant told us that the drop was going to take place tonight. I have to get in there and get the money back to the shop owners in the neighborhood. And I'm going to rain hell on whoever gets in my way. Yeah. <sighs> Includes an obligatory opening tutorial that teaches you the basics before you dive headlong into deadly action. But hey, it's up to you. Um, this game is very self-aware. Text hints. How quaint. Um, it makes fun of a lot of tropes in modern... Uh, modern games, mostly action shooters, but there are, uh, there's, you'll see as we play through, there's references to everything, and it's hilarious. Oh, oh. Yeah. Oh shit. Changing clips. Follow me. Yeah, I'm a bad man. The zoom is right up on his ass, but I don't recall the exact uh, year when this was published. More bang for the buck. That's right. But I think it was early, uh, like an earlier title in uh, the 360s library. Uh, D3 was the publisher on it, and. Off the top of my head, the only other thing I can think of that they published at that time for the 360 was Dark Sector. Um, so I think it was an early game. But I uh, love Dark Sector as well, actually. It's a really cool game. If you haven't checked that out, uh, it, it can't be more than like four bucks. Um, I don't know where this one's currently going for. I've, I've had it since it was new. And just absolutely love this game. Oh, ow. Close. Oh. Shimada, I have no ammunition. 
Alright, let's go back to the 45. I like the punch on that better. Give me bullets. Down the open hallway. I'm an idiot. Like I said, it's been a long time since I played it. Well, that guy's dead. Just the the premise of this game alone, to me, was awesome and hilarious. That like we're we're playing a game inside of a game for the. A guy trying to make a comeback. Like, I, I, I don't know. It was just so self-aware in a time where everything that was coming out was... Death-related comment here. Shut up. Um, everything was taking itself so seriously. So it was, it was nice to see something a little bit different. Um, something with like a comedic edge to it. Um, yeah. Yeah. Oh, sweet hibachi. Oh, shit. Piss off, Japanese guys. Damn, that was close. Got him. Ow. Move forward and take cover. Oh my god, I don't know where they are. What the? Oh my god, my aim is terrible. Right through the wall. Don't care. And again. I interrogate you first. Yeah. That's right. I just want a hibachi. All right. You guys brought this on yourself. I don't feel bad. Yeah, no part of me feels bad for this. It's hazard time. Apparently it's hazard time. Oh hell yeah, dude. I'm gonna dirty Harry the shit out of this. Ah. You know what? Move forward and take cover. Where 
Where is he? The Gaijin is still nearby. Be careful. <laughs> if only there was an ammo counter to show when the gun was empty. Shut up, Matt. Why are you doing this to me, Matt? Peekaboo, where are you at? Yeah! Fist the cuffs. You must not know I'm the champion. Your head is missing now. Well, well, well. If it ain't the fuzz. The fuzz? <laughs> now there's something you don't hear every day. Who might you be? The name's Sonny Tang. That's Sonny as in Sonny. Your ass is gonna get kicked. And Tang as in what? Tang. So, it's pretty obvious you're not the brains of the operation. <laughs> Who's in charge? You don't come around here flapping your gums and asking questions. You best be on your way before I make me some pig sushi. I'm sorry. <clears throat> Did I miss something in the script? Is this game set in 1972? <laughs> Keep talking, has it? You got about ten seconds before I go upside your head, kung fu style. Okay. How about we skip that and you just tell me where the money is? I ain't telling you squat. That money belongs to Mr. Chang, fair and square. He got it for community service work, if you get my drift. Look, I'm gonna give you one more chance. Get the hell out of my way and let me settle this with your boss. No way, pig. You want a confab with the boss, man? You gotta get through me first. Easy enough. Let's do this. <laughs> <laughs> Quick time event. Uh, yeah. Take that somewhat. Yep. Take those average punches. And a bitch slap. Son of a. What? 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 Uh, there we go. Yo. Mama. Damn. No need for that. You started this with your goofy ass pants. Oh, Superman punch. And an elbow. <laughs> oh, God. Oh god, oh, oh, more, oh, they're pissed, they're really pissed. I think it's because I left my shoes on when I entered the building. I don't know. Hello? Really, bro? Ha ha! Yeah, I'm the most thug life detective ever. Oh, good. Like seriously, where are all the chefs, dude? I really want I really want some Japanese food now. <laughs> you are not a nice person. You guys are going to ruin all your all your decorations. You feeling lucky, punk? Shouldn't be. So 
awesome. Oh, it's out. Where is the last guy? You know what? Um, I'm gonna assume he said nice things awesome. about me. That was a strong ass glass, dude. I know you're there. Okay. Alright. We can be like that. We can be like that. That's fine. Once I figure out the run button. There it is. I'm gonna say, once I figure this out, you're in trouble. That's another Magnum. <laughs> uh, <laughs> put the fire out, bitch. You know what? I'm gonna ditch that. Hey, give me a break. Oh, sweet. He will be found. Did we get him? I'm getting closer to Hibachi. I'm finding ingredients now. I feel like, yep. He tried to sneak one over on me. Yeah. Uh, I love this game. I really do. It's such a great game. I'm I'm really curious as we go forward to see if it loses some of its charm. So I wonder if this holds up. Because you have to remember when this came out, the only colors that really existed in games were like brown, gray. Um, everything was like that hyper realistic, um, really generic bullshit that we got for a while. Um, I would say for the better part of the 360s lifespan, to be honest with you. Um, it's like later on in life, did they finally realize that there were colors that they could use? No, don't get me wrong. It, I mean, it, it may sound like I'm completely hating on that era of games. I'm not at all. Because, yeah, there was a lot of bullshit. There, there was. Um, like, DLC, in my opinion, really got out of, out of control. Um, but there were a lot of great games that still came out of that time period. So I'm not really bitching about the quality of games. Um, I just remember playing this and my reaction was like, I was just happy it was something different. Even if it was still a, you know, third person cover shooter, which we had a lot of, but it, I don't know, it had a personality to it. Yeah. Now that I've learned how to run, feeling better about my chances. Oh, yeah, probably the door that opened, dumbass. 
Dirty Harry. What the? <laughs> this is what I'm talking about. Who the hell are you? Your worst nightmare. Except in the daytime when you are not asleep. Oh, yeah. Well, you better. <laughs> what? Your life will now end. Prepare to begin your death. <laughs> I'm sorry. I don't mean to laugh, but whoever's writing your material needs to lay off the 80s action flicks. Love it. Your words are puny, like you. You are the past, Matt Hazard. I am the future, and your present ends now. <laughs> Bink. Bink. <laughs> what the heck is going on here? Matt, can you hear me? Yeah, I hear you. Where are you? No time to explain right now. Someone is bound to notice I've hacked in and paused the game. You've got a problem, and I'm here to help. Problem? What problem? Your saves have been erased. If that bullet had hit you, you would have been dead. Permanently. What are you talking Perma about? Permadeath! Look, we're out of time. They took your weapons when you walked in here, so you're going to have to use your melee subroutines to fight this guy. I can do a little something to even the odds. Just a damn minute. I want to know what's going on here. And no now... Fun. Just take this guy out. We'll talk when you're done. Now you see what makes this game so goddamn awesome and different. Huh? <laughs> That's a hell of a thing. Oh. That's done. Okay, lady, whoever you are, we need to talk now. I couldn't agree more. Hi, Matt. Still in one piece, I see. <laughs> yeah, thanks. Hello, hey, obvious not to Cortana. I can't tell you my name. I think we're safe in this part of the server, but you can never be sure. Just call me QA. Uh, okay, <laughs> QA. Mind telling me what's going on? I hacked into this game I found running on a secure server, and that's when I noticed you were in trouble. That guy you just KO'd was Sting Sniperscope. He's referenced in the code for every level of the game. But you, you're only in level one. Look, babe, there's gotta be some mistake. I'm the star of this game. No, you're not. The code shows that there was going to be a plot twist that took you out as the player character and put Sniperscope in your place. And don't call me babe. Man, look at well, too, reference. If I'm still alive and he's dead, game over, right? Unfortunately, no. The game is still running, and I need time to find out what's going on. How do you keep the game running if the main character slash star is dead? That's where you come in. Without weapons and saves? I don't think so. I've already restored the save feature. And as for weapons... Oh yeah, much better. There you go. Suits make me look kinda old. But... Won't somebody notice that I'm not Sniper Scout? If you stick to the objectives, it will be a while before anyone sees the switch. I'll keep an eye on you. I might even be able to hack in a surprise or two from time to time to help you out. Then I guess... It's hazard time. Um... Yeah. <laughs> That's what I mean, this game is so brilliant. It's so self-aware. You have to love it. I reprogrammed the level starting point oh. to a spot outside the main level so you can get your bearings before the heavy stuff starts. Thanks, babe. I owe you one. Great. You can start by not calling me babe. Now, move your ass. The level starting. Okay. Uh, right. And, okay, I, honestly, if we could just, like, summarize it. All right. Sorry. Here, <laughs> okay. try this. Yeah, that's more like it. All right, little ladies and gentlemen. Oh shit! God damn it! I'm doing an outro. Piss off. <laughs> anyway, ladies and gentlemen, that is gonna bring us to the end of the first level of Eat Lead: The Return of Mad Hazard, our brand new series. Please leave a comment below. Let me know if you enjoy what you're seeing so far. Please like, comment, share, subscribe if you haven't already. All that fun stuff. I absolutely love it. I love doing these videos, and I truly love every single one of you that comes out and takes a look at them. But for right now, I'm Night Kid Zero. That sexy beast on the screen is Mad Hazard. 
and I'll see you next time.